uh, Krista Kilburn Stavesky and Alexis Carter from Hofstra open it up with an opening statement from Coach and then uh, turn it over for questions. Ask you to raise your hand to talk into the mic. Go ahead, Coach. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Uh, just. Uh Again, another tough battle against Drexel, and we certainly fell short. I've got to give them the utmost credit, uh, being the aggressor from the start, and I don't think we answered that and then tried to battle back. Um, did a good job in the first half and then struggled, you know, the same type of uh, equation in the second half. So kudos to Drexel being the competitor, and it really came hard at us today. Open it up for questions now. Coach, rough day shooting for Annie Payton and Anma and Yuku. What did the Drexel defense do to shut those two seniors down? You know, obviously they uh, had several uh, games of footage to uh, try to use their, their zone. Um, there was times there were three or four defenders in the paint trying to clog Annie's penetration. Did a good job. Um, and it did a good job of closing our passing angles for us to even try to find someone on the opposite. So that's how the game started. That was our game plan. Uh, opened up Alexis, who really stepped up. That's what a mark of a great player uh, on a team, on a great team, where it opens up someone, an opportunity that steps up and tries to carry folks today. And I felt like she did. And you know, we saw that you know, obviously early. Um, they did a good job of keeping the ball out in the paint. Like we were having a tough time, you know, getting. It's like an amoeba with four covering, you know, four in the paint. Uh, so it just really, um, you know, took our took the wind out of our cell. Alexis, with those two, Annie and Ao, what have you learned from the most from them from the last two years? Um, from the jump, I mean, Annie just learned. I mean, Annie taught me that you just have to be aggressive. You got to keep going, keep going, keep going. No matter how hard things get, you just got to keep going and fight through. Um, Ao taught me basically to lead by example, and I mean, I guess that showed today. That's something I'll carry with me throughout the rest of my two years. Coach, what do you see from the freshmen today in their first conference game, you know, going from seniors to freshmen? Uh, you know, I think that this stage, um, you know, obviously you can talk about things. You're not trying to over talk about it leading in. Um, you know, we uh, you know, came out at a deficit last year, uh, being down 10 to several against Northeastern. You know, it's uh, playing. No matter what you do to prepare your young players, the experience is what they have to have. and. I think it was carried down by, by Alexis and all the sophomores and then by the seniors to have these guys prepare. But until they live it, um, you know, that's just how it rolls. And it was unfortunate because obviously Kelly Loftus is a dynamic player. I thought Alo Edifurki had a good game. They, they took, um, took us out when they played a lot of guards, so it kind of diffused our bigs. Um, and so there was a good strategy on their part. The um, ankle injury, uh, you know, to, did, did that um, affect the team as well? How did, how did it, um, you know, on the bench and, and then, uh, because I, I thought, you know, the numbers were, were solid um, yeah. at that point. I mean, I think for all of us, no. Um, you know, I, psychologically, I don't, I don't think so. I, I mean, don't think it momentum shift. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I think, I think it just made us want to pick her up more, you know, just pick up where she left off. So that's where Ruth had to step up. That's where um, I had to step up, grab a couple more rebounds. You know what I mean? Asia had to go tougher to the basket and finish. It just made us want to compete a little bit harder, knowing that we had one man down. I think indirectly that gave them an advantage of playing the guards and they ended up being in their favor. So if you want to look at it that way, if she, because we've, you know, I can go 12 years of Drexel experience, and they've always diffused your bigs. You've always had to play small ball. This year in both games, we've been able to play big ball against them, and it's been to our advantage. So indirectly, that might have put, played their hand to play the guards, and it ended up being a positive thing for them tonight. Coach, you knew that the sophomore class this year had to take such a big leap uh, in the experience and the leadership. What have you seen from them the entire season as you look back now? Well, I mean, I think now that you see, look at you had out of Asia, um, out of Alexis and of Ruth, um, you know, you could have a, a three-headed monster right here for next season. Um, if you know they realize what they can accomplish, they have a lot of chemistry on the floor. You add Crystal with that. Obviously, you add, you know, Sid and, and DTP, the rest of them with it. But you have those three that, um, you know, really, really play well together. Um, you know, so and, and now that they started to show in the last you know, several games of the season, I mean, Asia had definitely carried us in, in several games. Women, Mary, you know, to be in NGIT, to be, you know, specific. But um, you know, they're definitely separating themselves, and and obviously now juniors. 
Coach, in, in the first part of the game, they obviously they get out to that 15-point lead, but then you guys were able to get offense clicking. What adjustments did you make? Well, Alexis hit. <laughs> I mean, she hit. So they were taking Annie out of the picture. Um, AO took herself out of the picture with two fouls. That hurt, that hurt this go-around. That hurt this go-around on this stage. You know, we won at Drexel when AO didn't play the whole first half. Um, you're going to have a hard time doing that at the, on this stage. There was just times I was screaming for some leadership on the floor, more direction on the floor, and AO was on the bench. Annie was struggling a little bit today. Um, so you really, you know, again, and Alexis is doing it by example. Asia's not a, an over talker, but she, she definitely has learned how to exhibit her leadership skills in her way. So, um, you know, you had a lot of folks like kind of looking for some direction on the floor. Alexis, just overall you've improved from the beginning of the season till now, and it definitely showed in this uh, game where you really had to step up. Uh, where do you go from here, and how do you spread it around to the rest of the people returning uh, for next season? Um, I really just keep working. I keep working. Um, I guess during the, during the middle of our season, my team was encouraging me, telling me I have a very nice mid-range shot. So um, I guess I just took that and ran with it. I mean, I just took that to my advantage. And um, I guess just, I don't know, I just Maybe started I'll... utilizing it more. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um, Coach would tell us, like, on our days off, get in the gym, get up some shots. It doesn't hurt to do a volume. Like, so we've been doing that, whether it's late night, whether it's early morning whether it's snow days, <laughs> I mean, we're in there, we're shooting, and it really paid off in the end. Uh, I guess this question goes for both of you guys. What do you say to the seniors now, knowing that this was their last game? What do you guys say when that buzzer ticks down and you guys lose? And you know well, there? it was hard. They, they weren't, because of the competitors they are, we tried to say a couple good things to them, more than a couple, but, you know, we will have time to talk to them, so I didn't, I didn't push it. Um, because they have accomplished so much, they have come from not um, – you know, been on the bench and trying to work to be better to, to do everything that they can do. And, you know, you have two good groups of, of young ladies here and the seniors that actually spoke to the team, you know, and, and, and said that they, you know, the team did everything they asked for them today. And it just wasn't uh, their day. And uh, I thought that was a commend to those seniors to step up and just say, hey, you know, don't beat yourself up and, you know, and, and just got to keep working. Um, you need more leadership on the floor, and you know, unless uh, we have a good nucleus and we have a really good future ahead, so don't don't beat yourself up, but just definitely try to find ways to stay together and and don't splinter and and really uh, you know do those little things that separate the great teams. So that was some really good uh, verbiage by them. All right, thank you.